morning, everybody. It's uh, early. We've been driving all night. We drove, not all night. We got tired and pulled into a Luz rest area and took us a sleep. Not a nap, we took a sleep. I think we got about four and a half, five hours worth last night. We're making our trek across the country. We left Kentucky and them stubborn turkeys. Just trying to break up this drive to South Dakota. Got to meet Drew in South Dakota uh, tomorrow or the next day. We stopped in here last year. Uh, we're in Missouri. And um, stopped into this ground and I roosted a turkey on it. But I couldn't find a way to it because you needed a boat. Um, obviously we're not going to that spot because we still don't have a boat. But we're still going Listen over a, uh, a block of it here this morning. If we get on a turkey, good. If we don't, we'll hit the road early and start making some tracks. I think it was a Roger Raglan that used to say, hey, let's go hunting. So, hey, let's go hunting. He's absolutely choking himself over there on the private. I've had a turkey gobble. I think it's two turkeys together. They gobble off in this drain. It's like they're way in the bottom. It sounds like they're gobbling underwater or something on the...
that I kind of drove by last year. Never set foot on it. Didn't really have time to break it down. Found another spot and decided to go to it last year. Well, I think it's pretty apparent that last year I screwed up. Because there's some flipping turkeys in here. The woods are pretty thick. 
real thick actually, but it's pretty standard for a lot of this Midwestern stuff. You got a lot of multi-floral rows and whatever, this buck thorn and stuff, just like Wisconsin and those kind of places. The hardwoods are just kind of keep that understory, and I think it does good for the turkeys, but it makes having good shooting kind of difficult. And <laughs> I don't know why I set up right here. I typically get a lot closer, but I had some turkeys. You can still hear probably in the distance over my left shoulder. I thought it was important to kind of stay between those and these turkeys, mostly just to play those turkeys and have these turkeys, you know, that factor, like I could call to these turkeys and, and maybe evoke a little jealousy in these. I didn't do that. I didn't have to. These turkeys hit the call, but they didn't just crush the call. They didn't hit it every single time I yelped or anything, but they did hit the call a handful of times. And it went no time, man. I mean, no time. I hit the call again. And, uh, I hit the trumpet. They didn't gobble at it. Golly, those turkeys gobbling. What a beautiful day. What an absolutely incredible spring morning. Absolutely incredible. We got cleaned up, had to find our shell hole, which took a second. I don't know how in the heck a yellow shell hole is so hard to find. We're still whispering because we still got turkeys gobbling over here and I don't want to jack with them. The turkeys was gobbling this morning. I'm you, this is what the woods are like. Just a bunch of this stuff. They were, they were roosted down this creek bottom out on that ridge over yonder. And I had them turkeys gobbling on the private on the back side. Creek train goes down to the river. I mean to the lake. Lake, river, whatever it is. Thank you for giving me this sweet spring air. Lord have mercy. That is a beautiful, beautiful thing. I could hear the other turkey drumming as I heard them coming. They gobbled right there, probably 60 yards, maybe 50 yards. They had been gobbling. And like a buck 50 or buck 75 even maybe. And they made that, when they decided to come, I guess they just decided to come. I heard these turkeys, had the turkeys on the private just absolutely raking it at first light. And as they were raking it, it was probably, it took them 20 minutes or so more 
and all the other characters started gobbling and they started to put way down in this bottom. And I was like, man, it sounds like you're gobbling under water almost. It's like really deep gobbles, real smooth sounding gobbles. And we're all the way down in this bottom. But they gobbled, unlocked the rest of the turkeys around and everybody else had a He's like a talk, 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 talk. I thought we may have to come look at them, see what's going on. Oh, man, that worked out. I mean, they come with a call like they'd never heard one before in their life. Wish I had a dang boat. Here. I've got a boat, I just ain't got it here. Oh, I'm like this a bit more accessible. Let me do it. Alright, let's smoke one. You got a heck of a voice over there. I'm supposed to be in South Dakota tomorrow, but they gonna have to quit that. Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down at the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.